What's up, Videla friends? It's Yanis here, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take some Excel raw data that looks like this. It has event information per country and city, and also the tickets and the revenue, and then create this nice Power BI dashboard over here that has all of that information. I am going to upload the Excel file into my GitHub page. It's gonna be in the link in the video description. So feel free to download the file and practice with me as I go through this video. And before we start this video, if you're passionate about data analytics and data science, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, starting with the first thing we want to do is to change our background so it looks nicer. So I'm going to change the color into this light gray. I'm going to set transparency to zero. I'm also going to change my theme to be classic because I prefer classic. Uh, next, I want to insert an image to set it as a background. So I'm gonna go over here. This is the one. Oh, I don't have the image here. So it's probably here. Uh, image, is it this one? Yeah, this is the one. Uh, and then let's make sure it takes all the space. Let's do fill like this. Let's move it a bit down like this. Let's add a rectangle on top of it. Uh, so I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to change the style. I'm going to do fill the same color as before. I'm going to remove the border and I'm going to do transparency to maybe, yeah, I think 27% is fine. There we go. Next, we want to add our title, which is the events calendar. So I'm going to create a text box. I'm going to move it here at the top like this. Uh, oh, no, sorry like this, make it larger, there we go, like this, add the background, zero transparency, then add the shadows, and then our title is going to be an events calendar, because this data set has event data by date, uh, like this, I think it's fine, and then next we also want to add uh, a few more pictures, well, let's try this one, uh, yeah, make it smaller and then move it over here. So usually on the top left and top right, you're going to have the company's logo or the date. In our case, I'm just putting a few pictures so I make this look nicer. So I'm going to move this over here. Is this what I have? Yeah, that's fine. It's just a picture. Right. The next thing we want to do now, if we check our dashboard and we click over here, is that we want to add our slices at the top of the page. So first we need the event date. So I'm going to click. Oh, sorry. We have to load the data. We haven't loaded the data in. First we need to load the data. So we're going to go over into home, click Excel workbook, and then select our data, uh, which is this event data over here. We want to select uh, sheet one. There we go. This is our data. Click load. It's loading in, there we go. And this is our events uh, data, events data. Let's check, yeah, everything is fine. Now we need to create our slicers. So I'm gonna click on the slicer first, and then I'm gonna add date. Uh, and date is loading. As you can see, date is a number, so we need to edit it. So right click, edit query, to change the type to be a date, not the number. So this is our date. We want to change the data type from here to be a date. Replace current. There we go. We have a date now. Close and apply. There we go. We have a date now. So I'm going to move this over here at the top. Make it smaller like this. I'm going to come over here and change the settings. Uh, where is it? Actually, it's on the general effects, background, 0% white. There we go. Shadow. Yeah, that's it title, this is the event uh, date, uh, where is it, event date, bold, make it 12, move it in the middle, change the color to be dark, sorry, black, like this, come over into visual, remove the slicer header, there we go, I think that's fine, let me test the size quickly so we don't lose time, so this is 108 and 352, uh, general properties, height 108, and then three, five, two, like this, there we go. 
Next, I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. And our next slicer is going to be the event name. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to move uh, event name into fields like this. And I'm going to come over here, change the settings to be a drop down. There we go. This is the event name. I'm going to add the search so we can actually search for the event over here. And the other thing I want to do is change the title over here to the event name. So copy, paste, event name, good. Next, I'm going to copy this, paste it. And the next thing we need is the event type. Uh, so over here, I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to move the event type over the event name, remove the event name, change the title to be event type. So copy over here, paste. And I also want to change the settings and I want this to be a type like this. I want to remove the search because I don't want the search. And maybe we can make this look nicer by, let's say, adding some borders. Uh, let's do top, no, let's do uh, right, like this. And we can change the color, maybe this light green. And also, we can change the font to be black, like this. There we go. Right, and the last uh, slicer we need, I'm going to copy this, paste it, is going to be the event continent. So over here, I'm going to drag continent and then I'm going to remove the type and I'm going to change the title to be continent. So copy this, paste. And now we need to make everything fit in one page. So we actually need to make everything smaller. So maybe like this. Uh, this is going to take some time. I'm sorry. So smaller, smaller. And then move everything here, select everything, format, align, and then distribute horizontally. As you can see, we need to make them a bit bigger. So let's make all of them 300. Uh, let's move this back. No, they have to be more. So let's do 310 uh, like this. Move this a bit back like this. Select everything and then align everything. Yeah, I think that's fine. Equal distance, perfectly aligned. Right. The next thing we have to do now, as you can see, is our map. To do this, we are going to click. Actually, I'm going to copy one of these and paste it because I want to keep the same formatting, which is the shadows. I'm going to take all the space up until uh, here, let's say. That's good enough. I'm going to create a map, which is this map you see over here. I'm going to add into the location. I'm going to have the city like this. Into the legend, we want to have the event type. Uh, which is the event type as legend and then into the bubble size we can either have the ticket sales so event tickets or the revenue in my previous dashboard i have the revenue but you can use either yeah i'm just going to use revenue again so bubble size is basically the bigger the revenue the bigger the bubble so now what we want to do is make our map look a lot nicer to do this, we are going to move our legend to bottom center like this. Uh, we're going to, yeah, let's leave event type. That's fine. Then map settings. I'm going to change this to dark. Uh, okay, it didn't change. Why did it not change? There we go. Now it's changing. I don't know what happened. So let's do dark. Yeah, that's it. Into the bubbles, I'm going to have the size. Let me check the size of this one. So I think it's a lot smaller. So bubbles is minus 18 actually, so we can be uh, minus 18. There we go, that's the bubble size. Then uh, what we can do is that we can change all of our colors to something lighter. So I'm gonna use uh, these colors, so like green, maybe this one, and then light blue. There we go, if I select two of these events, there we go, we can see the breakdown. Something else we can do is that we can add the category labels. So if we click on Europe now, you can see it's cleaner, but maybe for the whole thing it's not as clean. It's up to you if you want to add the labels or not. I think I'm going to keep them in for now. Next, I want to make the legend a bit bigger so it's easier to read the text. So let's do 12 like this. Let's change the name to be the sum of revenue and CT by event type. So I'm just going to copy this and bring it over here. Yep, sum of revenue by CT and event type like this. Let's check if this works. 
yeah, it's updating, but it's normally distributed. That's why you can't see the change. And I think that's it. You can keep playing with the uh, formatting options over here to make it look a bit nicer, but I think that's quite clean. I think the only thing we can't change is the category labels, if we want to have them in or not, because it makes it a bit overcrowded. But if you're filtering down to continent, I think it's quite clean. Right, moving on, the next two things we want to add now is these two cards over here that have two of our main measures, which is the ticket sales and also the sum of revenue. To do this, I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here, uh, make it a bit smaller so we can fit two of them. And then I'm going to change the format of this visual to be a card like this. And I want to have the total ticket sales, which is the event tickets, sum, correct. I want to remove the category label and I want to add the title. And the title is going to be the event tickets. So maybe the sum of, but no, I think that's fine. Uh, I want to change the callout value to be none and then I want to add commas to the thousands like this, that's fine and then let's move this a bit over here and then uh, copy this, paste it, let's see if we can fit two no, we have to make them smaller so we're going to set the width to 200 maybe let's see if this is good, yeah 200, no maybe 210 or 2 or seven maybe let's use this no less sorry guys two or five uh, let's see two or three two or five take the whole space select everything go to format align distribute horizontally yeah i think that's perfectly distributed and uh, now i want to change this to the sum of revenue i want to change the title to be revenue copy Paste and I want to make revenue a currency, so I'm going to make it, let's say, yeah, dollars. We can't see the whole number, so we have to make the callout value smaller. Let's see, it's bigger, it's bigger. Oh my god, how big is it? Let's remove all the decimals. There we go, now it's visible. Let's see, 21, 22, 23, uh, 24. Yeah, I think 24 is fine. And now the last thing we can do is to add the table, as you can see over here, that has a breakdown by country and city. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to copy this, paste it, move it over here, and then expand like this. Uh, take the whole space. Now I want to change this to a table like this into, okay, if you get this, sometimes all you have to do is click refresh, and this is going to refresh your data. And now I want to have the country, then I want to have the city, and then I want to have the revenue. There we go. Now I want to change this to be minimal, like this. It's much nicer. I want to change the values to be a bit bigger, maybe. So we take all the space. Uh, no, maybe eight, so we fit everything. Uh, next, we want to increase the column uh, size, so it's a bit bigger like this. We want to rename this to be the event tickets, and we want to rename this to be revenue, like this. We want to take more space, like this, yeah, a bit bigger. So always make sure you take all the space. We want to align this in the middle, like this and we also want to add a few cell elements so for event tickets what do we have there we have the data bars so you can see event tickets data bars let's change this to something lighter so this is fine event tickets and also for revenue we can actually do the same but we are going to do a background color and we're going to do for the lowest value light red and then for the highest value light uh, green yeah, much nicer. There we go. And the last thing we want to do is to change the title. And the title of this, actually, I think we can remove the title and also increase the values font size. There we go. So everything fits. Yeah, I think this is perfect. Everything looks nice. Right, so this is how you can quickly create a map dashboard in Power BI with all the details around the map. Um, right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video. If you feel like you did, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos.